I have now flown on three parabolic flights. So let's answer the question I know you're all gonna ask. Did I throw up this time when I was flying on flights twice as long? Since I knew y'all cared a lot about this, I documented all the things I did to prevent my motion sickness and how well they worked for me. First thing, I ate breakfast. Yes, this sounds counterintuitive, but you want something in your stomach during the flight. When we were close to taking off, I took motion sickness medication provided by Zero G, and when on the plane, I received and put on a motion sickness prevention band. A lot of preventing motion sickness is just about following directions. As the parabolic flights go up and down, you also experience many 2G periods. This is the period you're most likely to experience motion sickness, especially if you turn your head. Turning your head causes you to take 2Gs right between the ears, which really affects the fluids in your head and your vestibular system. Around 17 parabolas, I started to feel slightly motion sick on my second flight, but decided to preempt it by using some of Zero G's strategies of sniffing an alcohol wipe and chewing on ginger gum. That Alcohol wipe worked amazing and I was back in action after just around 10 seconds and I was actually good for the rest of the flight after that. And guess what? On my third flight, I didn't feel motion sick at all. I was feeling well enough that I even stood through the last 10 parabolas instead of laying down. I honestly think a lot of what caused my feelings of motion sickness was being in my head and nervous about getting motion sick. So to answer the question, no. Throw up free through 77 parabolas.